Welcome to another episode of Black and the Maritimes. My name is Fidel Franco. To get more information about us, go to our website, blackandthemaritimes.com, and we'll keep you posted. On October the 21st, we held our general election, or federal election, however you want to call it. Now, we actually have more visible minority people in the House of Commons than ever before. We have 50 in total. Now, uh, this is a great deal because uh, we actually thrive on being a diverse country. We are proud of being a diverse country. And to be a diverse country, we need to be diverse in any shape or form, especially in our politics. Uh, definitely, you want people that look like you to represent you. And you want people that, you know, actually cater or, you know, get things done for you in order for you to live a better life. Now, when it comes to the Maritimes, uh, there is a little little bit of, you know, there's not really a lot uh, that we could say of politicians. Now, PEI has actually had three visible minority, which has actually the first black Canadian of Trinidadian descent right now. Uh, Nova Scotia is the one that has most. Uh, right now, currently, they have five. Two uh, are identified as black Canadians. And New Brunswick has none. It has ever had any visible minority politicians elected into their parliament. Now, if you ever want to know why politics are so important, politics is something that every day affects you. It's something that affects you in the way you live, the food you eat, the transportation, the car you take. Because again, you want people that represent you in each and every level. And in the Maritimes, we need more diversity. Now, we are small provinces. Nova Scotia is the biggest province. But as we grow, hopefully we expect more diversity in our politics. We expect more candidates, more younger people especially, to go into this type of things. Because again, if we want to thrive as a society, and if we are proud of our diversity, we need to make sure that there is diversity uh, in our politics, that there is diversity in our House of Commons, that there is diversity in our provincial parliament. That's the way it should be. Now, regarding that, I'm not gonna go with any particular party uh, because again, it doesn't really matter. We should have diversity in each party, whether you're a liberal, whether you're a conservative, a new Democrat or a Green Party, you know, that doesn't really matter. What matters is, is that people need to have diversity on it because it's important as a society to have it and it will affect us in the long run and that will be the way that things will go from now forward if there is a majority let's say white or black or asian or arabic so we need to have that mix involved in order for us to have a really good conversation about topics and have different points of view now i know i've been out for a while this was a short one uh, we'll be back. I'm going to throw two episodes, hopefully within this week, uh, before the year ends. And we're going to try to do an episode each week as much as I can. So just uh, subscribe to us. Go to our website, blackandthemaritimes.com.